New at five, a break in a cold case from more than 20 years ago. The Racine County Sheriff has new information on a case that has seen little progress for years. Sean Gallagher is in the town of Raymond with the latest on this. Not a lot has changed for this quiet cornfield here in Racine County. Today, it's covered in snow, but back in 1999, it was the scene of a brutal murder when law enforcement found the body of a badly abused woman. Now, two decades later, they have someone in custody who they believe did it. The Sheriff's Department says the victim and the person in custody have substantial ties to a northwestern Chicago suburb. In July of 1999, the Racine County Sheriff's Department says she was tortured, burned, and starved before she died. And in this rural area, witnesses were hard to come by. The only evidence they had, a denim shirt with a distinct pattern. Until 2013, when they exhumed the body to gather DNA. We're going to do everything within our power and which technology will allow us to as well to not only identify her, but bring those persons here responsible to justice. New technology was able to provide a rendering of what the woman previously only known as Jane Doe looked like. The Racine County Sheriff's Department hasn't said how they found the person they now have in custody, but just a few weeks ago, the Ozaki County Sheriff's Department said they solved a 35-year-old homicide case with the help of DNA genealogy sites. But an end to this case is what officials have hoped for for years. I would hope that if this happened to my child, that someone would have that same drive to find out who they are. The Sheriff's Department will reveal the identity of the victim and also the person they have in custody Friday at 11 a.m. In Racine County, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.